Hello everyone and welcome to Quilt Stories. I'm Lisa Walton. Today I'm pleased to be interviewing Kumiko Friedel, whose miniature work has won major prizes all over the world and there's always an enormous crowd around her work. A, because it's very, very small and you've got to get up close to look at it and then you just hear everyone going, oh my God, look at how amazing that is. So welcome Kumiko. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure. We are going to switch to our screen and I know that everybody is going to be just amazed at the level of detail that you work with. Here we have Kumiko's quilt called Mission Impossible 2. Would you like to tell me why you chose to do miniatures, Kumiko? Uh, there is some re uh, several reasons. That the one of the reasons I started to make a miniature is because due to my husband's job, we moved around a lot. And then it, it was easier to carry around small work. That, that is a, yeah, that's why I started uh, miniatures. And you're living in Texas now? Yes. And how long have you been in America? It's on and off totally, total about 20 years. And originally from Japan? Tokyo, Japan. I find that the Japanese quilters are much more attuned to working very, very small. And I asked a Japanese quilter once and she said, because our houses are so small, so we have yeah. to work small too. This is the finished quilt that we're going to be talking about. This is a picture of the original drawing. Yes. Uh, how, how big is this quilt, Kumiko? Um, this is 30 centimeter by, by 30 centimeter. 30 centimeter. I mean square. Yes. It's uh, smaller than 12 inches. Do you know how many pieces there are in it? Just for uh, one medallion compass, there's uh, 377 pieces together. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay, so you draw up your pattern first? Yes. Yeah, because for the miniatures, you only have a uh, limited space. So that's why I have to uh, draw everything in, uh, yes. in a drawing. And so these are the three main modules. Do you call them modules or units or? This is a um, uh, paper foundation. Paper foundation? Ah, yeah, paper okay. foundation pattern. You know, this pattern, uh, com uh, compass has a 128 point that I figured out it, it has a, divided it in eight, then yeah. you, you need to make you know, one eight. But, but one eight but means it, uh, there is a lot, but only three patterns, oh, okay. uh, put them together, and then yeah. you, you, can, you can make uh, one eight or 128. <laughs> you can, I couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. I, actually it was a surprise for me too. Only okay. three patterns make this uh, complicated uh, compass. And so there's an order for foundation piecing, isn't there? You do one and then the next and then the next. Yeah. So after we have the drawing and, and our patterns, we have pattern, the colour selection, the fabric yeah. selection. These look like batiks, is that correct? Yes, this is uh, batiks because uh, you know, there's so many pieces and small pieces, put them together, it's frays easily. That's why yes. I choose uh, batik. It's very tightly woven. So here we have you joining your little miniature pieces together. Yes, in, those in three, three patterns combined together, then it, you can make, then it's getting yes. larger. Do you machine or hand foundation I, I, I do machine. Is it a very fine needle? Yes, I use uh, Microtex uh, mm -hmm. 60 slash 8. Okay. What machine do you have? I have uh, several machines, but uh, mainly uh, piecing with uh, Bernina. I see. So here, here is the, uh, the pieces being built yeah. in yeah. your pattern. Yes. Okay. So yeah, they just keep growing, don't they? Yeah, it is. And uh, you, you can see C, C pattern I made is uh, one eighth of uh, one compass. So you, yes. have, you have to make eight times of this. Here we go. Yes. To make a uh, yeah, circle. 
So what, what sort of seam allowance do you have on these? Seam allowance, I started with a quarter inch seam allowance, mm -hmm. same as uh, you know, usual. But then yep. uh, after I, I pieced, I clip to down to one eighth to one sixteenth. But you always start with a quarter inch. So you're not trying to machine piece with a one eighth of an inch seam. That would be no, tricky. No. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, because, yeah, you know, quarter inch seam, it's easier to work with. Yeah, actual one. I'm sure our viewers are looking at um, the sizes of the inches on the cutting mat to see yeah, how tight yeah. they are. So here we have the, the modules that go together to put the one eighth of a piece together. And so here we have a complete compass. So these are eight of your, your segments put together. Yeah, without the um, middle of the circle. So what's happening here? Is this a test piece? Yeah, this is a test piece for uh, uh, corners. Four corners has a uh, half compass. So you've just, you're not going to waste that piece. That's just to test what the pattern yes. for the cook <laughs> looks like. To get to this point, I had a lot of waste. So <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have the four half ones and one complete yeah. tied to the quilting. Yes. And do you applique your your piece pieces? Hard to yeah, say. Yeah, applique, but uh, it's a reverse applique. Reverse applique. Ah, yeah. Okay. You cut the hole out and then. You, yeah, I, I have to make a hole and uh, insert from back. Do you pick white because with the batting, it's, it sort of goes a bit more opaque, so you can't yeah, see through. And, and uh, yeah, and also it stands out. Pink yeah, that's white. Why, that, that, that's why uh, I, I, I picked white fabric, and also it's going to be, there is a feather pattern around the um, um, compass. That's why, okay. that's why white looks good on the pink. Yes, lovely yeah, contrast. Yeah. Now we've got it quilted. You've quilted around each of the points in the compass as well? Yes, I, 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 I've quilted in a ditch. Again with the machine? Yes. You can see me, I'm coming closer to the screen because <laughs> I, just love, I just love to see it. I think it's quite astounding. The circular motive in the middle of your compass that it's appliqued on? The middle of the compass, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's uh, stuffed with uh, uh, some more batting. I, I thought it might. Yeah, it, it's stuffed, that's why it looks like a little bit, yeah. Yeah, uh, like mm -hmm. a little button. So here we have the quilting. From, you from quilting? the back side, yeah. So what, what thread um, weight are you using for your quilting? It looks very fine. Uh, this, for this one, I used uh, cotton on the back, bobbin thread. Yeah, top thread is uh, 100 weight. Silk. Yeah, I thought it might be a silk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and this is again with that Microtex needle, yes? Yes. Here, here is a comparison of the original drawing and the quilting. Generally, how long do they take you to make? Probably as long as it takes me to make a big quilt, I would think. With piece of uh, quilting, right, like, like this one, about three to four months. Some, some miniature, it's less than... Well, I think, I, I thought originally that you hand-pieced each little point by hand. So um, oh. I know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that you do the foundation piecing. Yes, yes. Yeah, because so, foundation uh, piecing is uh, very accurate. Not when I tried foundation piecing. It wasn't very good at all. <laughs> but um, you have certainly mastered the skill of it. This quilt here... Yes. Is the same size as the first one we were looking at? Yeah, the other one, uh, this one, this quilt called Mission Impeccable. The other one was uh, Mission Impossible too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the difference is this Impeccable has uh, three quarters of uh, compass. Okay. The other one has a half. Okay, and the embroidery is all hand embroidered, it's beautiful. Yeah, yes, uh, this is a silk ribbon embroidery. Lovely. I can see the beautiful feathers that are quilted and then, are they uh, for Yeah, I have to tell you, this one 
uh, this feather is not a trapanto. It looks yeah. like it, but uh, maybe you have a uh, uh, background of uh, background, I mean, by the feather, it's yeah. very, very tightly uh, micro stepped. So, so that that, that's up. why it's, yeah, it's pop up. And how big is this quilt? Yeah, this is 47 centimeter by 47 centimeter. Are these compasses the same size as yes. Mission Impossible? Yes. Okay. So the whole quilt is, is bigger? The other yeah. one is 30 centimeter. Yeah, you it's can so see it on the back. This one is 30 centimeter and this is 47. What problems do you have when you're, you're doing this work? I know that you're an expert now, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, uh, of course I have to test all the fabrics. When you use uh, this color of fabric, that color is bleed it a lot. Bleeds a lot, yes, I was wondering. Bleed a lot. Yeah. So uh, all the fabric I use is soaked in so in uh, centropole? Yeah, yeah, centropole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so all the all the fabric is soaked yeah. in centropole. Yeah, yeah, it's all, sure all to treated. Yeah, before. Yes. But otherwise, yes. once you one of them started to breed, then you have to start all over again. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah. Well, I, I I've done it before, so no, it's not not gonna happen. <laughs> 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 yes, it was a nightmare. <laughs> I can understand. I would, yeah. um, I would cry if I had done yeah. that. that happened to me. Most definitely. Um, what have you done for your borders? I can see it looks a little bit like a lace or something like that. Yeah, borders. I, I always put the lick rack. Lick rack. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Lick rack tape on it. Yeah, and, and uh, of course, um, I have to test all the needles I use. Because uh, the regular needles are like 70, 75, 90 numbers make uh, big holes. That's why I found um, uh, Microtex is, doesn't make a big hole. Especially with the 100 weight silk. That's, um, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine great big holes and mm -hmm. tiny bit of thread mm -hmm. sticking out. Mm -hmm. um, here's one that's slightly different with the, the deeper colours. This compass has only 64 points. Oh, only. Mm, okay. Only. <laughs> yeah. Was this one an earlier one? Or yeah, or earlier one. Yeah, earlier one. You like the challenge? Yeah, I like the challenge, yes. Yeah. You go, okay, this is 64. Now I'll make it even smaller. <laughs> Have you ever made large quilts? A large quilt? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. did several, like it? several. Yeah, because I belong to uh, um, Kill That Guild, and everybody likes to exchange blocks. So okay. we we made uh, hundreds of uh, blocks and exchange to make uh, one quilt. <laughs> but you didn't do a miniature block like this. Uh, nobody wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Yes, definitely. So um, here we're just going back to one of the original. Yeah, um, yeah original one. But uh, this one is 64. So you can compare with, yeah, compare to this and uh, yeah. there's so many more um, points. Yes. This is one, one, 128. After I made this one, I wanted to go one more grade up to <laughs> make uh, uh, 256. And what happened? I, I, but I tried, then I decided to not to no. do it. I give up. <laughs> because even, even this one, people ask me, this is not a piece. This is just a thread. So I said, uh, no, it's, this is all piece. Then everybody said, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's so, so if I go 256, then nobody was going to say, no, <laughs> no to I Kumiko. <laughs> I think um, they would want to lock you up in a, um, somewhere with a padded room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is my book, Mission Impossible 2 and uh, Mission Impeccable 
pattern is in this book. So oh. anybody wants to try it, you can do. <laughs> Uh, yes. which is available on Amazon and also searchpress.com. Searchpress and uh, what quilts are in the book? Uh, there is uh, 15 different um, patterns in it. Right. And also uh, latest one I'm working on, Whole Cross with mm -hmm. uh, Shadow Trapanto. Okay. Uh, and uh, some of my uh, art quilt as well. This quilt here is is different. Would you like yeah, to tell this, me a little bit yeah, about this? This is the latest one. Yeah, whole cross but uh, with a shadow in it. That's why there's uh, the colors. And the fabric is originally white and the color is the stitching? Originally top layer is uh, white mm -hmm. but uh, you know you can see white part this yes. is uh, th th this is a trapanto. Trapanto mm -hmm. is a uh, batting, and uh, top layer is a uh, very lightweight see-through fabric. Uh -huh. So after you trim the uh, white part batting, you can add another color from back. Then you can see a different color, green and blue. That color is. Um, I used uh, thread. It's a thread work. So the main colour is actually coming through from the back after the mm -hmm. trapunto. That's right. Okay, that's very interesting. Tiny, tiny circles. Do you go mad quilting those little circles? I actually, it's uh, very relaxing for me. <laughs> yeah. See, I I find that when I quilt tiny circles like that, they're uh -huh very round they tend to be sort of jagged do you do you do it quite fast that depends on uh, what type of uh, thread you use silk thread is quite strong so you can go the, the yeah. not not very fast but but uh, with a rhythm then rhythm. Uh, rhythm yes i, I use sarki thread yeah sarki yes. thread is yeah. and also um uh, metallic threads. Metallic, you have to go slow, otherwise it breaks easily. Again with the Microtex needle? Yes. Okay. You just change uh, numbers, seven, uh, 60 to 70. Okay, I never have any luck with metallic threads. <laughs> now, maybe you go too fast. It just okay. goes, goes slow. That's a, a beautiful technique as well. It just, um, Thank you. It reminds me of um, Moroccan tiles, it's just lovely. Ah, yeah. And this one here, this yeah. is a foundation piece as well, I can see. Yes, <clears throat> this is a medallion and uh, surrounded uh, a pointy foundation piece. And how big is this quilt? Uh, this is uh, finished size is 30 centimeter. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, because you know, why it's 30 centimeter? I like to enter the show around mm -hmm. the world. And U US is a miniature is up to 24 inches in 24 by 24. But in, I, in, you know, since I lived in UK for three years, I like to enter the uh, Birmingham. 30 centimeter is uh, largest. I, I remember seeing one of your quilts hanging in Birmingham and the crowds you couldn't get near it it was just like <laughs> let me through let me through okay that was wonderful kumiko i just looking at your quilts behind you you get that sense of how small they are and if people have been uh not knowing your work and to to discover you today and to see your work i just know <laughs> they're just going to have have their minds shaking <laughs> like mine it's it's been lovely talking to you. I'm hoping people have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please subscribe and like the videos. Thank you so much for your time today. I look forward to seeing your next masterpiece. Bye for now.